Hello everybody, my name is DK and welcome to today's Yu-Gi-Oh! review. Today guys, we're going to be doing a review on one of my decks. I've been working on it a while and um, yeah, you can see my tins are placed up. The Hanzo Tin Prophecy Destroyer. Of course, I got like about, let's see here. I got about 11 tins right now and um, yeah, you can see whenever you see this playmat, that means we're going to be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and sometimes it's another thing, but this is my, um, one of my dual decks, well not decks, but this is one of my decks that I have been, um, working on, oh so good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the numbers and the, um, and double check to make sure I don't have any, um, because I, I know one of my Thor cards is hiding back here somewhere. Well, maybe not, I don't know, he was in this deck. Oh, come on, Thor. you got to be hiding in here somewhere. It's kind of funny how you have a deck and then you think that you have the card in there and then you're double-checking it like three, four times to double-check just to make sure. But, um, I think he's out. If he isn't out, then... Nope, he isn't. I saw him. He's hiding right at the bottom. You sly little devil. You're trying to hide from me. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go over what I call my numbers... Plus, then we'll go over the deck, but, um, not numbers, we have also a synchro in here. So the first one that I want to go over with you guys is Thor, Lord of the Acer. This guy's so fun because, um, I don't know, it's like there's a, I don't know, it's like there's a glare in here. I got a better idea, guys. I will, first I gotta do this. Oh, now it's just too dark. Okay, that's a little better. So I, I know it's a little dark in here for the video, but um, here's what Thor does. His ability is you need a Nordic Beast tuner, and the focus is not really focusing that good. Can you read that? Once per turn, you can negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Currently controls the end phase, during the end phase. If this face-up card you control was destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effects sent to the graveyard, you can banish one Nordic Beast tuner. The grave a special summon this from the graveyard when summon effect 800 damage to your opponent. So, this is really good to play. I have it in my deck a lot. I have um, Tangrisner of the Nordic Beast, which is really fun to play against him. So, we will be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening, guys. And um, I'm going to also be talking about my friend uh, Hydra Mage. He has a channel. He just uploaded his first video based off of what he does. And um, if you guys want to check out his channel, be sure to. I'll, ha I'll do a... Um, I'll put a tag in the video so that way you can see his channel and um, see what he does there. It's really cool. Man, it is dark in here. I gotta get a little more light in here. Good night. No, wrong way. Right way. Thank you. Now it's really bright. And um, yeah, I just explained my last video. We will in our in my that in my next video I will be reviewing some cards that are worth a lot. Um, then we got Shockmaster. This one's actually really really fun to play because basically if it brings it out, like say you have a if you negate, you basically use one of his, um, Xyz materials, and basically, if it's a creature card, if it's a spell or trap, they cannot activate it, or if it's a monster, cannot activate its effects until opponent's next turn. So this, basically, I heard is an illegal card to play in tournament, and I agree. That's just really, really annoying. Then, of course, you got Utopia, like, whenever he's attacked, you detach one Xyz material from this card, and basically, he prevents that damage, so that's really fun to play. And then we got Black Ship of Corn. This one I got out of a promo, as you can see from Limited Edition. Then face up monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to the card sentence to the graveyard and infect 1,000 damage to your opponent, but he cannot attack when you activate that effect. So, it's a fun card. It's, it's pretty fun to play. Um, Here we go. So we got Mystical Space Typhoon Secret Rare, Dimensional Prison, Noble Knight Artagorius, Dark Hole, another mystical space, Swords of Revealing Light, classic, Call of the Haunted, uh, make sure that's better, Leveling Catastrophe, Trap Tricks, Trap Hole of Nightmare, so it's from the Gold, Return of the Bling, Heraldry Record, Heavy Knight of the Flame, Black Luster Soldier, da da dun dun I like using him. Uh, Rising Sun Slash, good to use on Utopia for that ability, that's really good. All Slam, good for infecting damage to your opponent when you bring it out. Spike Shield. Dark Bribe I really like playing. Uh, Summoner's Art. This one, why it's sleeved up is because think of how expensive it is and also it's fun. Listen to this. Add one level 5 or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. That basically is like a big cheat right there. It's like, boop, bring out a level 5 mo like, bring a level 5 monster from your deck to your hand. United we stand. I actually might put this in my warrior deck, I'm not sure, but um, 10 Goldfish. This one's fun because 
excuse me if I'm a little congested right now, but this basically means when you summon him out, you bring out another level 4 monster, and then automatically, if you have Utopia, you can exceed summon it that turn, so that's automatically good. Uh, Skull Kraken. And this is cool because when he comes out, destroy one of your opponent's spell cards. Not traps, but spells. Draw Muscle, I really like. Shocktopus. Seize Reflect. Then we got like Guardian of the Labyrinth, Abyss Stungray, Overlay Region. Diane Kieto, the Cure Master, Impenetrable Attack, Chain Dispel, Monster Reborn, an illegal card, but fun to play as. Zolga, Battle Boxer Veil. This is good against the Winged Dragon of Ra, because say they attack for 7,000, you special summon that out, you basically gain that many life points. Here, I'll read you its ability. It says, when you take battle damage, you can special summon this card from your hand, If you and if you do, gain life points equal to the damage you took. So, basically... That will help. Ribbon over burst. Shooting Starbo Seal. Fun to play. Very fun to play. Um, Magnum Shield. Punch in a box. Wall of Disruption. Fisher. Another Tin Goldfish. Gold Fax. Fencing Fire Ferret. Nomadic Force. Thunder King Ryo. This one's fun. Very fun to do in a lot of decks. Miniaturize. Spicy Spy. It's an interesting card. And here he is. My favorite friend. Legendary Mahu Garzette. So let's just say you have like five monsters on a battlefield. You sacrifice all of them in order to bring out Legendary Mahu Garzan. His attack and defense are equal to the number your monster's attack and defense added up. All of them that you sacrifice. Very fun to play. Soul Charge. Oh, this is so fun to play. With Soul Charge, basically it states that you pay 1,000 life points for each monster you control in your graveyard and special and summon it back out. Regeki. This one's a very expensive card. This one will be my next video of one of my expensive cards. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. That is that is a very, very cheatsy card. And then Secret or Mirror Force. But yeah, all in all, this deck can be very, very overpowering. Other times it could just be a complete pain in the butt. And um, yeah, it can be very, very fun to play. Uh, I played it a lot against um, in our Yu-Gi-Oh! club that we have. Um, we've played it a lot. And um, eh, it's interesting. Did you guys see the back sleeve here? Look at this sleeve. Look at this. This was from a Nova Lights Around Table box opening I had on my channel that I still have on my channel. If you guys want to check it out, be sure to check out my channel. It's going to be somewhere in there about a Noble Knights of the Round Table box opening. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it because it is an awesome opening. Considering I got a forbidden dress, which is nice. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And hopefully you, will, hopefully you guys will stay tuned for our next Yu-Gi-Oh! video coming up. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!